I mean, here's the thing about the NFL, and it's sad but true, but, like, the wives are in the first row and the girlfriends are three rows back. So when you're getting engaged or when you're the girlfriend of someone in the NFL mm-hmm. and there's all these men around and all this testosterone – and there is infidelity. Mm-hmm. What is oh, that 100%. like for you to actually see behind the curtain? Because you say you're you're making sandwiches for them. You're seeing like, for instance, yes, I I worked at a bar when I was in college, and it was all super wealthy men, and I was able to sort of see behind the curtain of what it looks like when all these men are away from their wives. Yeah. What was that like for you? The NFL is a very interesting place. There's a lot of downtime. And there's a lot of travel and these guys have money and it's, you know, I mean, and they're in shape, they're in shape. I mean, they're living the dream. I mean, women, it's not so much like the men and the testosterone. It's more the women and the estrogen (laughs) that it was a very threatening, almost place to probably be in if you're not in the right mindset, because I can imagine feeling super insecure. And I mean, his first NFL game, I was coming from a college mindset. So I'm wearing like jeans team sweatshirt like a hat like i'm i'm 20 something years old like i'm figuring it out these women are coming down in the coats and the jackets and the whole thing and i'm like i do not belong here like what in the world the wives or just the wives the girlfriends i mean here's the thing about the nfl and it's sad but true but like the wives are in the first row and the girlfriends are three rows back no oh yeah i i've been to training camps where you know the girlfriends are in a hotel down the street and the but wives the, and are the there wives with notice? the kids at the picnic. Nobody knows anything. Now it wasn't anyone that I knew personally, but you just it know. Yeah. It just happens. And and I'm not like you know blanket statement to the entire NFL or any pro- professional sport, but I mean it does get a little bit of a stereotype where you kind of know. And that's always everyone's question: like, what's it like to be an NFL wife? And I'm like, what's it like to work at the insurance company? I mean, it's the same thing. You know, it's like I love these women. And I respect them. There's some I want to hang out with and some I don't want to hang out with. And I think it's like any other job. Um, But it is interesting. You know, a lot of them are resentful just because I think they gave up whatever career and life they had for their husband to go on um, and, and, and run with this. But in my mind, I was gifted a position and fell in love with a wonderful man that happened to be very good at what he did. And... I took that on as my job. So my job became, I'm going to be the best wife. I'm going to keep myself in shape. I'm going to run a great house. I'm going to make some beautiful kids. I just kind of owned it. Instead these are of controversial being like, statements to make these days. Yeah. What? And I said, these are controversial statements to make these days. I, it's like very, like more traditional role. Well, here's the thing. I'm a fifties wife at heart. No one can take that away from me. I want a dinner around the table. I don't think there's anything wrong with no, that. No, I don't think there is either. And I think it's honestly like a lost art. I mean, it's just kind of turning into a different thing, but that's me. And that's how I run my life. That's my family dynamic. That's how I continue to, you know, foster a great marriage and raise good kids and and just keep a very good foundation. Like all I have and all I can control in this world is my house and what happens inside of it. So there's a lot of shit going on in the world, but that's what I can keep close to home. And so I just took that on. That was my job. And I was like, I'm not going to complain about it. There's a million people that trade places with me. Like, I mean, the bitching that would go on about like, oh, I can't believe like he's traveling again and I got to do this. And I was just like, what is wrong with you guys? You know, really? I mean, you're very, you're in a very, you know, you're in a lucky position to have this lifestyle that not everyone has. I mean, money is not everything. Don't get me wrong. To me, I've always said like, my relationship and my family and what Steve and I have is like the cake and like, yeah, there's some icing in there, but sure. at the end of the day, 